大家好，欢迎来到今天世界很好玩，我是你的主持人德一。那今天呢，我们就在 Brooklyn 的 Smorgasburg Festival， 这里大约有四十多家美食的车餐。那今天我就给你们介绍几个比较好吃的。那通常都会有很多人，哥今天刚下了一场大雨，所以人就比较少了一些。那我就少点说话，我们走吧，一起去看看有什么。这里生意很好，啊，很好，那口味是那个很适合呃呃外国人那个口味哦。我们那个上呃早三年前呃在这里想开一个珍珠奶茶店啊、哦，然后就是从台湾那个我们去台湾那个拿了一个品牌就是康拜，呃开了大概开了一年，就是纽约天气那个还是。比较冷嘛，冬天比较长，那个那个 cover 不到成本，然后就想了想了一个办法做挂包，哎，然后就是这样开始。哎，以前有一点那个在香港，呃，有一点底子了，做做了一年一年多的那个厨房，它全部是我们从中央厨房里做出来，都是很新鲜的，看，当天烧，当天做，当天拼，就这样。好的，那我们再来试一下他们被惊讶的包。嗯、哇！哇、嗯！它的字真的很棒，还有它的鸭，很新鲜的感觉。嗯。This year is my first year, though. It's my first year. Yeah, actually, I do my personal chef business, mm -hmm. but um, it's an up with like when I um, don't go to event or something, people like don't trust me. Like they're afraid that I'm going to be scam or something. <laughs> so I have to show them that I have the boots and everything. It's like official. And I also use the original recipe, like Thailand. Yeah, as much. As I can, if I can find ingredients here, I can do it. Even though like some some like some dishes I don't have it, I ask my mom to send this to me here to make it like original. 
It's my dream, it's my passion, it's because I love cooking. Because like when I came here the first time, I used to work inside a restaurant before as a waiter. So basically like my family, back then they owned the restaurant, so I grew up in the restaurant. And when I work in the restaurant here, I talk to myself like I cannot work like this for 30 or 40 years without getting home. I have to do something. And I love cooking, so why don't I do something like this? Yeah. And then I, I don't want to cook, cook for like like for like something like industrial, like in the restaurants just don't pay attention to the quality of the food or the taste, just get money. I want people like to get the best thing, like the best food, good taste. So can you rapidly tell me about this business and what is this all about? Yeah, so raindrop cake is an Asian jelly dessert. Uh, Asian jelly desserts are a little more common in Asia. This was something I saw in like Japan and I wanted to bring it over to the US. And then I also created my own version, like the purple raindrop, but that's uh, made out of ube. So uh, I noticed that jelly desserts just wasn't as common in America. Um, but I've eaten them as a kid and I enjoyed it as a kid. It's just a little different than the very overly sh decadent desserts that we have in the US. I love those, but sometimes I just want something light and refreshing, you know, just to clear the palate after a very like heavy meal. And so I started Raindrop Cake uh, two years ago uh, at Smorgasburg. Um, and this is the, currently the only place that I sell it. Um, and we're here Saturdays and Sundays. Um, and so just um, created a raindrop cake kit. If you go to raindropcake.com, where I just create 
all, I give you all the ingredients and the most. You can just make this at home, so I'm able to like to sell to people from anywhere, anywhere in the U.S. Um, you can order it. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can just go to the website raindropcake.com. So like, how do you actually make this? Like, it's kind of like it's something new. I mean, like maybe in the past, I don't know, six months or a year, like it was something like, is this edible and things like yes. that? So yeah. Um, so the process is very simple. Um, the ingredient, main ingredients, is spring water and agar agar. Agar is a seaweed derivative in the U.S. They use gelatin. Gelatin is made out of animal uh, collagen. So it's not so good for people who are vegetarians and vegans. Um, agar, a little more common in Asian cooking. We use it for thickeners, we use it for soups, candies, jellies. So that's just one use. And um, I really liked it because um, I don't have a chef background. So what I really wanted to do was just create something that was just kind of fun and visually looked really cool, but also tasted really good. Um, and so, I, it had all of those qualities and it was just kind of fun to look at. It didn't look like any other dessert that I've seen um, and it was also, you know, very refreshing. The, the texture was really different, you know, and also the flavors were very different as well. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, it's totally funny. Like, Hold on. I'm I got food like in my this. teeth. Hold on. <laughs> so like, what do you think? Is this your first time checking it? My first time checking it. Uh, trying it and everybody here we had to try it. We saw it. I've seen it on TV like on a food channel. They made it. I thought it was so exotic and so original and I said whenever I get a chance I'm gonna try it. It's different. So what do you feel? It's different. We're, we're trying to figure out the taste. The texture is like jello but it has a it's not sweet. So it's probably actually good for you. <laughs> is, it, is it like a vegan type of thing? Or? It's good. I, I, it's something very unique. And that's why we're here in Brooklyn. Uh, the business started back in 2008. We started with the Brooklyn Fleet and then uh, with the first sport. And we used local fruit and organic cane sugars to make our pops. Uh, so it's just really good ingredients. And yeah, everyone loves them. We experiment with good flavors like raspberry basil. Uh, we have a peach lemon shave ice and a cherry jasmine. So uh, yeah, we just use the best local ingredients and make some fun things. And we're selling like summer on a stick. We make uh, kids smile and it's, uh, it's a good time. If it's a busy day, we go through a few hundred pops and a few hundred shave ice. Okay, so my first question would be, can you tell me a little more about this business, like how you started it and things like that? Okay, well, we're a restaurant, we're farm to table, we're in Leopards Manor's historic district, which is very close by, and uh, we're Japanese and Dutch themed, mostly of our dishes, but we do international cooking. So this is Tayaki, it's a Japanese fish cone waffle, and we make it with vanilla charcoal ice cream, we use coconut charcoal bread. And then, um, yeah, we're, we, we use ancient grains and yeah, like, like we work
work with a few farmers. We have lemonade. We try to carry like healthy. We also do hibiscus, which are Jap uh, Dutch uh, pancakes. Yeah, we use different spices on it. Yeah, they're like puff gents. Mm -hmm. We serve it with Nutella and uh, and uh, powdered sugar. Alright, so are, are you American or are you European? I am European. Okay, so like why would you, as a European, would you like do something like an Asian dessert or...? Uh, well, technically this is not Asian, we're using the concept, but we're making our own way. So it's like, um, like we use, we use like four spices, which is French. And um, yeah, like like our concept is something, but we make it's it's a modern cuisine, which we do our own fusion, our own way. Yeah. So like, how is the business here in this? Prospect it's pretty well. Yeah, like we've been here. This is our first season. Yeah, it's going to 